Hi you guys and welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. My name is Renelle and I am the mother of three girls about to be a fourth girl and this is a family of five about to be a family of six budget and we very much live paycheck to paycheck. But in today's video we are doing an April paycheck budget. Now this is technically our first paycheck of April. But because our last paycheck of March, we use for April. That's why this is paycheck number two, but this is our first actual paycheck of April. Okay, I hope all that made sense. <laughs> so for our income, my fiance made $1,530. And then I had $90 from side income. And I did wanna say, I have gotten quite a few orders on my website, so thank you so much. If you have purchased from me, I did want to let everyone know again that all of my prices were reduced on my website and everything is way more affordable. That is where you can find this budget sheet at. Everything on my website is a digital download. So you're able to use it on your iPad, your computer, or you can print it off like I have mine. So I did want to mention that and my website will be linked in the description bar down below. So yes, so our total income is $1,620. This is how much we will be budgeting for this paycheck. And I hope you guys can see this. My daughters ran off with all of my pens. You guys, mom life completely. Um, so I'm working with a pencil. So I hope you guys can see everything. <laughs> um, but to start out, so rent we already stuffed 700 and my rent is $1,600. So we are only adding $900 to our rent. Then for our phone bill, I do already have $120 towards it. And so this is $224 more that we are adding on. Now I understand $344 for a phone bill is crazy, but we pay for, my phone has been paid off, but you guys, my phone has been like overheating and it's quite, I have the iPhone X Max. Um, so it's like a few years older and it's totally crapping out on me. And I think I'm gonna have to get a new phone and I don't want another phone payment but that's life. We pay for my fiance's phone. I have my iPad that I use for work, for everything, so much stuff. And then my, I have an Apple watch and then my fiance has a smartwatch. So with all of those payments and everything, it's just up there. Um, so sadly that is what we pay for our phone bill every month. I would love to get that down if we can and pay some stuff off, but that's not my first priority right now. Now, car insurance is not due yet. It's due towards the end of the month. So we are not putting anything towards that. And then we did just make our credit card payments. So neither one of these are due. And we did just pay our internet bill. So we are not paying anything on that or our subscriptions. <laughs> um, so actually the only bills that we have currently, because I did already pay my power bill, my water and trash bill is not due and my school I stuffed last paycheck even though it's due tomorrow. So in school is actually my daughter's tuition. So you guys, we are only stuffing two bills but that's because a lot of these bills were already due and I paid them with the last paycheck of March. So a lot of the stuff is already due. Now the only thing that we have is a credit card payment and car insurance are due towards the end of the month which I will pay with my paycheck next Friday. So what we have is we're going to go ahead and total up our bills. We have 900 plus 224 and that gives us 1,124 dollars. So now if we take our total and we minus our bill amount that will give us our remaining so 1,620 minus 1,024. That leaves us with $496 remaining. 
So Snowball will be getting $44. And I'm going to apply that to a credit card. So if we take now our remaining $4.96 and we minus $44, We are left with $452. <clears throat> now, emergency, none of my savings, my long-term savings are getting anything. So that's emergency and then my three daughters. So Ava, Alexandria, and Anastasia, they're not getting anything this time. I wish they could, but they just can't with how much stuff I have going on this time. So our remaining is still $452. Now on to our expenses. So gas is getting 30. We did just fill up. So and we filled up yesterday with um, my fiance's tips that he received throughout the week. So and gas for us was $90. That's crazy. I'm so sick of paying high gas prices. <laughs> as well as I'm sure everyone else. So eating out is not getting anything. Necessities is only getting $25 just in case we need something, but we really have most of what we need. Now groceries is getting $100. Our dog Luna does not need anything currently. And then I and my fiance are not getting anything. So if we add these up, so we have 30 plus 25 plus 100 we get $155. So now we're gonna take our $452 and we're gonna minus our expense total. And that gives us $297, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing with this money is, so next weekend we have Easter, but the day before Easter is actually my youngest daughter's birthday. She is turning one. So we are celebrating her birthday on um, Easter instead of the day before. We're just going to do all of it together since it's so close. And actually, fun fact, next year, her birthday lands on Easter, which is really cool. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and flip over to my cash totals page. Or my cash stuffers page. I'm sorry. Um, so now a lot of these are not getting anything. So like car maintenance is not getting anything. Beauty is not getting anything. Clothes is not getting anything. Now I'm going to come back to family time. But I just want to go ahead and write down like what things are not getting. Um, if that made any sense. Uh, wedding is not getting anything. Household. Okay, first home. Again, I'm going to come back to that. Back to that, back to that. <laughs> so vacation's not getting anything. Savings challenge is not getting anything. New computer, no. And support small is not getting anything. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about what all we are stuffing. Now, the reason we are finally stuffing some sinking funds is because I have some things coming up. So on Easter, my mother is visiting. It's the first time that I have seen her in almost eight months, I'm pretty sure, because I moved to Florida and I have not seen her and she has been sick and I was sick and it's been a mess. So I am finally getting to see her and Actually, a birthday present from my aunt is taking all of us to SeaWorld for two of my kids' birthdays, like, combined. So, um, if you guys don't know, my daughter, Alexandria, she just had a birthday. She turned three, and then my youngest is turning one. So, that following week, she decided to birthday gift us all a trip to SeaWorld. I've been to SeaWorld once when I was, like, six. <laughs> So the reason I am leaving family time is because I have to have a little bit of money for my kids if they want something in SeaWorld. I don't plan on going crazy because honestly, I just can't do that. <laughs> but family time is going to get 
$50. So we're gonna, um, and then a new car is going to get $20 because if you guys don't know already, with our tax returns, we did pay off our car, my M loan and my J loan. So we don't have any of those debts anymore. And that was $13,000 worth of debt with those combined that we were able to pay off. So we do need a new car. We need a second car. By the time I have this baby, we have to have a third row vehicle because I will have too many kids to fit in the back seat of just one because we have a second row, not a third row. So we have to get a third row. Um, now birthdays and holidays, I'm kind of splitting because her birthday is um, the day before Easter and then holidays, I'm obviously planning for Easter. So whatever's left after we deduct family time and new car is what I'm putting to both of these. It says $227. So I'm only budgeting, um, I'm going to budget $77 for her birthday, even though I'm probably going to use more of that for Easter. Um, I'm not sure. I'm kind of just combining the two. So we take minus 77, 150 is going into holidays. Now I am going to use part of this, not only for Easter, but my mother's birthday is coming up and just there's a ton of things that go on in the summertime for holidays. So whatever I don't use, I am going to keep for the upcoming holiday, Father's Day, Mother's Day. Like Mother's Day is the next one to come up. And so I want some money to be in there in case the girls want to go buy me something for Mother's Day or my fiance does. So that is what we're going to do with that money. So that means that we do have a remaining balance of zero. Sorry if you guys, if that was everywhere. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up our income and then deduct our bills, debt, savings, expenses, sinking funds, and investments. And it should equal zero if I did this correctly. Okay, so our income was $1,620. Our bills were 1,124. Our debt was $44. Savings did not get anything. Our expenses were $155. And then our sinking funds were $297. And then we did not put anything towards investments. So let's go ahead and deduct all this. And we are left with zero dollars, which means we did do this correctly. Now I have already filled this out, but this is my teller slip, my cash total slip that I take to the bank to tell them how much I need out in each denomination. This is on my website as well as an Easter one. Um, this one's just a spring colored one that I thought was fun. So, um, but how you do this is you go through each one. So if you need $900, that's nine one hundreds. And then um, phone was 224. So that's 200 and then a 20 and four ones. So you just keep doing that down your budget sheet until you have everything here. And then when you add them up, they should equal the correct amount. So this was just my fiance's account. So that's why it's 1,530. And I already had the $90 in cash from like side hustles. So that's why it's not on here. But I did want to share that with you and how you do that. Um, you can check out my last budget with me. I did this with you guys to show you how I came up with these uh, quantity amounts and stuff for my denominations. So if you're new to this, that will explain everything to you. But that is going to do it for today's budget with me for the second paycheck of April. And I'm so excited. I have something really exciting to share with you guys later this month. I'm hoping I get to share it with you on how we are going to be making some more income and what is new in our life. So I am excited about that. Um, if you missed the announcement for the giveaway winner, that is in my previous video. I will also have that link down below. But I did announce the giveaway winner and what all they will receive. I have already reached out to them. 
So yeah, but in my next video, I will be doing a cash stuffing for this budget. So stick around for that. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified when I do that video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what your family is doing for Easter. I love chatting with all of you guys and I have caught up on all of my comments, you guys, for like two months worth. So it took me hours to do, but I was so happy to see all of your guys' comments, read them all, respond. I missed you guys so much and I am permanently back. I won't be taking any breaks that I believe. <laughs> So I just missed you guys and thank you guys again to everyone who has ordered off my website. It really does mean so much and it helps so much for us to make a little bit of extra income because we do live paycheck to paycheck. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.